Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to get started with the admin interface. The admin interface is an auto-generated interface. So in the previous lecture we created um, these um, we created these model, uh, this model class and we provided the title and date uh, columns. But you might be asking, okay, how can I add data to our database? How can we add that data? Now, that's where uh, the Django admin interface comes into the picture. So, um, a, little about, a little about the Django interface, admin interface. Uh, it is a handy auto-generated interface called the admin interface that lets you create and edit model data. To use it, we will have to register our model with the admin site and configure a super user account to be able to log in. Now, what do I mean by model data? So whenever uh, we are talking about the Python world, we have model classes. But when we transition to the SQL world, we have databases and tables. So a model class is a SQL database. The uh, fields within that model, they are SQL um, uh, database um, table columns. So meeting in here, this is a SQL table. Title and date, they are columns. How can we add data to these columns? That is the job of the Django admin interface which comes by default with Django apps. We can take a look at it inside the settings. Here it is. Uh, the, it is pre-installed. And it works, if I go to the urls.py, it works a little bit different than our regular uh, URL mapping. For a regular URL mapping, we are going to provide the URL as a string, and then we are going to map it to the view function but the admin is a special case we don't usually map uh, urls like this but for admin this is a special way now to be able to go ahead and to ac actually access the admin interface what we need to do is we need to register our model class what is the model class again model class is represented by a database table in sql then the fields within the model class are represented by that table's columns. So this is the entire idea that we're working with. We have meeting, which is table. We have title and date, which are columns. So therefore, we need to register this with the admin because the admin has the ability to add data. And where do we want to add those data? We want to add them through this model class meeting. Therefore, we do not register anything else like the views, like the URLs. We don't register that because the model classes are responsible for database engagement. Therefore, we have the admin and the model class has to be registered with the admin. So first, I'm going to grab from the models. I'm going to say models import the meeting class. Now that we have imported it, let's register it. So to register, I'm going to say admin dot site dot register uh, register and I'm basically going to pass in the name of this model let's just save it so it has been registered now to be able to log in we need to create a super user account so the way that we can create a super user account it is as cool as it sounds so don't worry about it um, uh, the way that we can create a super user account is we are going to say python manage.py therefore you need to make sure that you are within this uh within this meeting planner folder you need to make sure that you are there there we go I'm just going to go a little bit smaller a little bit more a little bit more there we go so we are oops <laughs> we are within this meeting planner i'm going to say python manage.py create super user there, uh, so all of this is just one word, create super user. If you hit enter, it's going to say provide the username. If you leave it blank, what it actually means is it is going to grab the name of the username of your computer, current user, Code Academy. But I'm going to change it to hello-li-el. I'm going to say, I'm going to say evolutive, evolutive dash learning 
So I'm going to hit enter. What is the email address? This is a dummy. So el at el dot c o o l. Password, I'm just going to say one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, it's going to ask you to strengthen the password. But because this is a development server, I'm not going to do it. But in production server, you need to make sure that password is really strong. So I'm going to bypass password um, validation. And it says super user created successfully. So let's zoom out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, let's run the server, Python, manage, come on, man. So clear, uh, Python, manage. Dot pi run server let's run it you can see we don't see any migrations that's a good thing and in here I'm just gonna go slash admin slash admin and in here I'm gonna pass an evolutive uh, dash learning and this is the password there we go. So this is your very first interaction with the Django administration panel. It says, welcome, evolutive learning, top right corner. We can see the view side, change password, log out. And by default, there are going to be two models, always, the groups and the users, therefore authentication and authorization. We are not going to talk about them. But what is the model that we are interested, interested in? It is the meetings model. And this meeting, when you click on it, and when you click on this add meeting, something very cool, extremely cool is going to happen. That you're going to see the title and the date. Where are these fields coming from? And before actually going to that topic of where are they coming from, you need to be very, very like um, uh, appreciative of Django administration that whenever we go ahead and we just create two very very simple fields in here but what django admin does for us is going to grab is is going to be to grab these two fields and convert them into a very very cool representation that you can see here so we have a field here and we have a field here as well so uh, by default i have all added some stuff so i'm just gonna um, uh, I'm going to bring the Chrome into the other screen. I'm going to delete my, uh, I should have done this before recording. I'm just going to delete all the autofill form data. Just make sure nothing pops up again. So I'm going to bring this back. And now if I click, there is nothing there. So again, this is very, very awesome that Django does this. Flask doesn't do it. We have this admin. It is created automatically. We didn't do anything. We just registered our model with the admin. When you register it, then and only then, it is going to grab all the fields from our model and create a graphical interface for those with very cool calendar. So I'm going to say uh, HTML5 course uh, review and I'm gonna say when do I want that to be so let's move it to like I'm gonna select this date but I'm gonna change it to 2025 12 15 so if I save that you can see that we have meeting object uh, it in here it says number three the reason that it says number three is because I was actually experimenting with it before creating this lecture and we had one and we had meeting object number two so just to make sure that we start with a clean slate i'm going to close this window and i'm going to close the db browser as well and let me close the server what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into this folder where are we i'm going to delete this db.sqlite3 after that uh, after i've deleted this Let's go back to our Python application, and in here I'm going to say Python uh, manage uh, dot pi run server. So we, in here we don't see any SQLite database. So if I run the server, uh, we do have our SQLite databases here. We have 19 unapplied migrations. So I'm going to get out of here, Control C again, and I'm going to say Python manage uh, dot okay manage dot pi 
uh, migrate let's just migrate everything and let's just clear everything and mm, let's run the server again so Python uh, man I'm just gonna go up just hit the up arrow and this is the server we don't see any migrations and in here in the migrations folder okay everything looks cool perfect let's just go to the Django admin interface so from here I'm gonna say admin and within the admin I'm gonna provide it evolu evolutive dash learning and I'm gonna say this is your password uh, we need to reconfigure the super user again so I'm gonna say control C um, so uh, to be able to reconfigure so we have registered those let's uh, try to reconfigure the super user so I'm gonna say Python manage.py create super user just create it um, I, I did misspell that so let me bring this up clear the terminal so I'm gonna say Python manage.py create super user I'm gonna say let's just leave it no I'm not gonna leave it I'm gonna say um, hello Lee Python uh, email address el at cool dot el something like that this is gonna be the password and here is the password I'm gonna bypass super user created successfully run the server again this was a good practice for you as well right so where is the server run server uh, let's go into that admin interface so we can add a meeting there we go so admin let's add it was hello Lee dash Python and I'm gonna say this is your password there we go so I'm gonna go into meetings we don't have any meeting uh, let me go to our DB browser as well so let's open this up let's open it I'll open the database with a, on the desktop what we have is in here we have meeting planner db.sqlite3 we have our meeting if we say browse table we don't have any data so far so I'm gonna say add meeting I'm gonna set it to HTML5 course review um, let's just select this date and I'm gonna change it to 2025 um, 8th so let's just save that there we go so now you can see it starts with object one now uh, I'm sorry for the hassle but now you see that how if you make any mistake that there are some stiff steps that you need to really uh, redo all over again so because everything is uh, handled everything is connected we were able to set up our query very very easily now in here and within this we do have a row right but if I re if we don't see it now if I refresh it we are going to see that row so I'm gonna say this is the title and this is the date and for now the ID is going to be one I just wanted to uh, everything to be organized I didn't want everything to be like like the first the first item that I add is going to have an idea of three no I didn't want to do that so this interface this is added automatically by Django for us is created automatically by Django which is very 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 cool the reason that we don't see our meeting in here the name of the meeting is because uh, you remember that whenever we created a model class in our SQL essentials course in the SQLite Postgres and MySQL chapters or sections we always provided a string representation but so far I have not provided a string representation of our uh, uh, database object or our model object that's why uh, you can see it as just meeting object one this one is the primary key which is auto generated or auto incremented I'm gonna add another meeting as well I'm gonna say CSS 3 course review and I'm gonna click on that let's say 2030 I'm gonna say 01 and uh, 13th so let's add that so you can see it says meeting object number two if we come here refresh the page 
re, re, uh, refresh this table, CS3 course review on this date. With this, our lecture comes to an end. See you in the next one.